Now, we've saved the most important question for last. It's an issue that dwarfs everything else. Isn't it time America did less for the elderly? At this retirement community in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, people live a pretty good life. It's absolutely carefree living. With manicured grounds, an elegant swimming pool, fine dining room, La Posada made Forbes list of America's top 10 ritzy retirement communities. What's the cost to buy in? Anywhere between 350 to half a million dollars. Well, we paid more because we have a villa with our own garage. Glad to be home. And even though these folks are doing quite well, they get a bonus. Thanks to Medicare, you pay for most of their health care. Medicare, I think it's the most wonderful thing. One of the best things this country has done. You ready for us? Yeah. It's not a surprise that they like Medicare. Hi, girls. Hi. Everyone likes getting free stuff. Hello. And Hi. Medicare often makes going to the doctor just about free. Some of these folks go all the time. Love coming here. Oh, that's our social life. <laughs> so sure, the seniors love it. Why not? I'm on page eight of the case. Harvard Business School professor they Regina Hertzlinger says Medicare cheats the young. We're really stealing from them. It's not right. Medicare is essentially ripping my generation off. These high school students in Dayton, Ohio, say they're eager to help the needy. In fact, they volunteer here at a food bank. But they're angry that Medicare forces them to pay for even wealthy seniors. How do they feel morally that they're living in these 300,000, 500,000 homes and they're still, you know, not paying for their own health care? The kids have a point, say policy experts. The government spends around $6 on seniors for every dollar it spends on children. And yet the poverty rate among children is far higher than it is among seniors. It's true. The federal government stiffs the young in favor of the old, even though the net worth of the elderly is much higher. Helping people who don't need help and taking from those who need it. They're calling you greedy geezers. It's kids. I mean, <laughs> that's, they don't think the problem through. I think they have thought the problem through. If you do the numbers, it's true what these kids say. Our lifestyle now is our deserving. We love your free samples. But you're not paying for your new social life at the doctor's office. The government is. <laughs> I have to think about that. <laughs> Some seniors said, we've paid our dues. Every paycheck money was deducted. I paid in for 40 years. OK. But in fact, today, the average Medicare beneficiary collects two to three times more than they paid in. This is not only unfair, it's downright immoral. Billionaire Pete Peterson says Medicare isn't just unfair, it's running on empty. It could bankrupt the whole country. Medicare is already a giant fiscal tsunami. Here's the problem. When government created Medicare in 1965, there were about six working age people for each Medicare recipient. But now that there are so many more older folks and we keep living long, just four younger people will have to support each one. And when I retire, it'll be worse. I'm a baby boomer, and there just are not going to be enough young people to pay for my generation's retirement. That's right. It's just impossible. $34 trillion worth of promises, no cash. $34 trillion. That's how much more government's promised for Medicare than it's funded. That's more than 30 Iraq wars. This dwarfs everything. It does. It does. With the current system doomed to go bust before these kids retire, Medicare's the world's biggest Ponzi scheme. Bernie Madoff's scam is pocket change by comparison. Maybe we should call Medicare Bernie Madoff care. Medicare is no longer able to guarantee my generation anything in return. And yet these seniors say... Medicare should cover more. Yes, and I think I earned it. Medicare paid for Viagra. Well, that's right? stupid. I mean, let's not... <laughs> I mean, that shows how dumb it is. It may be dumb, but seniors want it. And what seniors want, they usually get, because they vote. What if a politician said, I'm going to cut Medicare so you guys don't get so much? Did you vote them out? I'll say, well, then you pay for your campaign and don't ask me for any. But people have to make some sacrifices, say Medicare's critics. Maybe raise the qualification age or cut off benefits for the wealthy. If you're poor, OK, you get Medicare. If you can afford to pay for it for yourself, please go ahead and do it. AARP, the giant lobbying group for seniors, opposes those ideas. 
They claim Medicare's deficits can be solved largely by reforming health care. Make better use of health information technology and health records. We need to do Computers a better job. Computers are going to solve all the problems. Well, no, they certainly won't solve them all. They will help make health care more efficient. The Congressional Budget Office says the reforms you advocate won't really save much money. They're not going to make a difference. Well, they're going to have to make a difference. I am here from AARP to celebrate Medicare's birthday. This decade, AARP spent $150 million lobbying. It runs ads reminding lawmakers, we're watching you. You're never going to cut off any older folks. Well, I, from AARP doesn't want to see people go penny. without insurance. But ultimately, somebody's going to have to give up some medical treatment they've been getting. Peterson's been fighting a lonely battle because many seniors don't know the truth. But once this group learned about the issue, some had second thoughts. I hear what the kids are saying, and talking strictly from a monetary point of view, they're right. When they get to be our age, there may not be any Medicare. They don't want to rip off the kids. Tell them to change the law. If the kids can get the votes, then they can get it done. Of course, that's not likely to happen. Who said life is fair? 